Much reported Texas non-citizen voters. That list is suddenly shrinking by the day. The new questions from individual Texas counties that's led to some backtracking by state officials. Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Doug Dunbar. 10 o'clock, we're going to begin with that list I just spoke of, of Texas voters' names, almost 100,000 of them. They were flagged last Friday for the possibility that they were registered to vote illegally. Well, new at 10 o'clock tonight, Marianne Martinez spoke to one voter, at least, who says she's on the list. But guess what? She's a U.S. citizen. Marianne, what's going on? Well, Doug, here in Dallas County, officials are reviewing that list provided to them by the Secretary of State and saying they are finding U.S. citizens on it. Julieta Garibay is one of close to 100,000 people flagged by the Texas Secretary of State as being a non citizen voter. Garibay became an American citizen in 2018 and voted that same year. I mean, it's outrageous um, because we've gone through the process. Uh, we, we are exercising our right to vote, and it's really outrageous that they're, without even doing the duly um, work of actually investigating who are in this, in this list, why are they there, what happened, just going out there and sounding a very false alarm. Like her, many new American citizens who registered to vote at a time they were not citizens or using a non citizen ID legally voted when they were actually citizens. It's been a long process. And, and I'm not taking lightly to be a U.S. citizen. They ended up on a list sent out by the Texas Secretary of State to county election departments across Texas, including Dallas County, where the state said just under 10,000 non citizen voters should be kicked off the voter rolls. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins tweeted that 1,715 U.S. voters have been found on the list provided to them by the Secretary of State. Like if people don't know their rights and they don't know what to do, they might be just kind of like give up in the system. In Tarrant County, some 4,700 voters have been flagged. In Collin County, another 4,600, although some have already been eliminated from the list because they are, in fact, citizens. In Denton County, they have requested that the state send them a new list. And Doug, none of the counties here in North Texas have taken any actions or, in, or kicked anyone off the list just yet as they are going through the process of vetting those lists. Reporting live from Dallas County, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. Marianne, thank you so much.